Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Nas Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking hoops. We're talking about San Antonio Spurs, y'all. And I gotta tell you, man, I had to take a week off from making the videos. I had to step away from it for a second, and I'll jump in there in a minute. But I'm back, and I had to make a video about this play-in tournament and my true feelings about this play-in tournament. And it may not be the most popular opinion, but heck, I don't give it anyway, man. This is my channel. Put my way. But like I said before, I had to step away from the mic just for a little while because if I'm being honest, Spurs Nation was getting on my damn nerves, man. I can't believe these jokers want to fire Greg Popovich, man. Like, people really want to fire this man. And I've been a Spurs fan for a long time. And I know Popovich isn't perfect. Lord knows he isn't. But, man, I got so much respect for this man. You know, he stands up for the right thing. He says the right things. He's an all-around all -around good guy. And a good coach, man. We can't replace this, man. We owe him to let him retire. You get what I'm saying? So all that talk about Popovich, all that negative talk, really had me blowed, man. I was more blowed than Joe Kim Noah. Just, whoa. Oh, whoa. It was oh, wide whoa. right. That's a Florida State player whoa. right there. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I was more blowed than Doc Brown was when he ran into Mari McFly that time. I know he did send me back to the future, but I'm back. I'm back from the future. I was more blowed than Vision was when Wanda folded him like a crunch wrap from Taco Bell. If you do this, they will never stop being afraid of you. I can't control their fear. Only my own. Needless to say, man, I was a little blowed. But that's, you know, in the past. I'm back and I'm ready to go. And I want to talk about this play in tournament and my true feelings about this situation. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel. OK, let's jump into the video. I've rambled on long enough. Three reasons why I'm not excited about the play in. The first reason is I've been a fan of the NBA since I was a kid, since the 90s, man. And it's always been, you know, for the most part, the best eight teams getting into the playoffs. You get what I'm saying? The top eight seeds getting into the playoffs. Now they did have some interesting things with the first round. First round used to be five games, you know, and that kind of left it open for upsets and stuff like that. I wish they would go back to that, to be honest with you. But to, you know, this play in thing feels like, like we're cheating. You get what I'm saying? We don't have the top eight record in the western conference so we deserve to take our behinds home that's just how i feel being a 90s fan a fan of 90s basketball early 2000s kobe duncan you know even further than that akeem d rock it just it is mind-boggling to me it just feels like we're using a handicap to get in the playoffs now i'm not rooting against the team if they make it i'm watching you know i'm watching the play in i'm watching all that stuff and i'm gonna cheer for those boys so there's no disrespect to them but it just feels like a handicap it feels like we're cheating so that's like the number one reason why just not looking forward to it man and the second reason I don't like this play-in rule is it's not really a new rule at all. You get what I'm saying? Like this could be a, you know, a one and done type situation. Like the whole COVID situation last year, I could I could see why they would do a play-in. That made sense. You get what I'm saying? But with us playing 72 games this season and relatively having a full and somewhat fair season. I know the schedule has been kind of hectic for most teams, especially the Spurs. I don't see the reason for a play. -in. It, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, it doesn't fit with what we're trying to do in the league this year. Now, if they came out and said, hey, this is what we're going to do from now on. This is the new rule. We're going to do this next year and years beyond. Then I couldn't do anything but respect that. But the high likelihood, as of this video, as of this moment, is that they're going to do this for a year and they're going to dump it <laughs> by next year. To me, that's super ridiculous. Either you're going to do it or you're not going to do it. This is something we're going to do for the fans, which I can see it be more entertaining and whatnot. And we're going to stick to it. But they don't, they're not even doing that, y'all. And the last reason why 
I can't really get with the plan situation is I can't help but wonder what if the Spurs were the seventh seed? What if the Spurs clicked this year? Derek White wasn't hurt. You know, um, we were hitting more threes. We were more consistent. Pop played the veterans a lot less. And we were clicking on all cylinders. And we earned that seventh spot. We earned it the right way. And then here comes the play in tournament could just possibly knock us out. And we're out the playoffs after earning it now. And. The Lakers are in this position, and I understand that most Spurs fans hate LeBron and hate the Lakers or whatnot, but put that hate to the side for a second and just think about that. You see what I'm saying? So the Spurs are the 10th seed. They should be nowhere near the playoffs. Now, they have a chance to get in the playoffs when they really didn't earn it, and that goes back to my first point. And the Lakers, on the other hand, they earned it. They overcome adversity. They had so many injuries. And then when you think about it, the seventh seed in the Western Conference is really not a, a true seventh seed at all. It's just so competitive that you can fall to seven if you have a few injuries, which the Lakers had. So when LeBron comes out and says, hey, this is stupid, I got to I gotta kind of agree with him because it's like, hey, what if the Spurs were clicking and we are number seven? I don't want our season to go down the toilet based off of one game for some teams that did not earn their way in. You get what I'm saying? So it, it, it's, it's just it's a system, a playing system that will help the Spurs for years to come if they decide to keep it. But. I can't totally bump with it because I try to see things from a fair perspective, a non-biased perspective. And I would hate the fact to see our young guys having to duke it out after they earn the seventh seed. Now, maybe I would be cool, cool with it if it was just for the eight and nine seed. They battled it out. But to me, seven should be untouchable. That's just my opinion. And now that I think about it, I think the seventh seed have to lose twice for them to be out the playoffs. Correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. This whole playing situation is confusing as heck, okay? <laughs> but at the same time, I just don't feel like the seventh seed should be in jeopardy from the 10th seed. Good God, the 10th seed? That's crazy to me. You see what I'm saying? Like maybe the eighth seed, but the 10th seed? That's bananas. And I get you have to lose twice, but you know, in the NBA, anything can happen any given night, especially if you're having these games back to back. You know, anything can happen. So I just don't necessarily agree with it. But it is what it is. I know the fans are going to love it for the most part. It adds a little spunk to the league, to the NBA. So we will see how it works out. Maybe it will grow on me. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about the play-in tournament. Are you excited for it? I'm somewhat excited, but I do have my reservations like I stated before. All right, guys. Thanks for kicking it with me, and I will catch you in the next one. Hey.